and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to blend two images. I've got the streets right here and I'll add three quarter portrait, something like this. It's too big, so I'll use the scale tool. You can press Shift S for that. And now I'll resize it. Let's up to here. Click on scale. I use the move tool and I reposition it slightly. Up to here should be fine. Important is the stacking order of these two photos. You can see right here in the layer menu. So the photo or portrait is on top and the street is below. If it was the other way around, you wouldn't see the portrait and you want to blend your top layer. So make sure this is selected, then right click on it and add layer masks. We'll just use white for full opacity. Now we've got a layer mask right next to it. Make sure that this is active. So you can switch between the layer itself and its mask. And we want to use a gradient. G is the short key for it. We've got black and white as the foreground background colors. If you don't see that, click on these little icons right here and you should have it as well. And now if you left click and drag, we'll have this gradient that goes from black to white. And in this case, black, it conceals. So this is our right hand side and it makes the top layer transparent. And white is on the left hand side, it keeps the top layer. So we'll get this blending effect. And you can still drag around the gradient or this middle dot to adjust it. If you want to add multiple gradients, just deselect the one that you've got. For example, just activate the move tool. And then activate the gradient tool again. We are still on our layer mask. This is the important step. And then we can drag a new gradient. And again, it goes from black to white. And we can add multiple of these blending effects. The results, obviously, they may vary depending on the photos that you use. I've used a very simple example here. But if you've got a headshot and a black background, white background, and you just want to make a blend with another photo, this is an easy way to do it, and it's quickly done. If there are further questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.